What's up guys, it's Ferris Space here and today we're basically going to be talking about Kaido and the CP0 guys. The government have been experimenting on giants, basically researching for 100 years on how to gigantify normal humans beings because uh, Law explained the whole thing about how they wanted to create this unstoppable army so they can essentially rule the entire world. Now with the reveal of the long limbed human we saw in the latest chapter, the one that was in Big Mom's book, which is basically a combination of a long arm leg, no, a long arm and a long leg. Now you guys might say the mixture of races is pretty common now. You know, we've seen Dillinger and Jack who are supposedly like half human, half fishman. Because you can basically have a long leg and a long arm have a child and that child could potentially be a mixture of both of them. Some of you guys may have noticed by now, I don't know if you've gone back. But the, the C CB0 members that, that were showed in Dress Rosa, those guys are probably long leg tribe and long arm because they're really tall and I don't know, there's something about them that's just odd. They're not, they're definitely not normal human beings. Maybe the guy in the middle is a normal guy, but the two other guys, the one, the, the two tall guys are definitely not human, regular people. Now this is where things start to get weird is the third CPO guy, the tallest member. That guy is seemingly a mixture of three races. A long neck, which is snake neck, but I just call it long neck because it's easier. Long arm and a long leg trap because he's slightly taller than the two other guys. So this kind of confirms that the CP0 has some, they have some crazy monsters with like a mixture of many races like on some uh, chimera type shit. The head of a tiger, the body of a giant and like the speed of a, a cheetah or something like that. So we can speculate that the government, they were trying to make like a perfect creature that was solely based for combat. Now it, it brings me to the whole Vegapunk artificial devil fruit. What if they can possibly mix the devil fruits like ti like a tiger devil fruit? Obviously this are uh, artificial zones, small devil fruits. A tiger and a bull devil fruit and create some hybrid, hybrid type of devil fruit. Like I'm one of the few people who believe the CPO's devil fruit are going to be based off like the Greek mythology creatures like the Chimera, the Landon, like the hundred headed dragon and all that stuff. Another thing you have to wonder if, is even though the celestial dragons are weak individuals, there's some kind of power holding them at that spot. Now, I'm not saying that CP0 is like all of it, but it's, I think it's definitely part of it. Because the CP0 only answer to the Celestial Dragons. They don't take orders from even the Gorosei or like Kong, but they, they do uh, like supervise their actions. Also, if you go back to Impel Down, those creatures we see like the Basilisk, which is like a mixture of a chicken and a snake, the Sphinx, a human and a lion. But these guys are most likely or potentially hybrid failures and they have them in Impel Down to like keep the prisoners in check. This even proves my point even further with Kaido and his title. Like I mentioned before in my other videos that the Yonko's titles have some meaning or correlations to their ability. Like how Whitebeard's name relates to how the earth Guru Guru no Mi glows white, Big Mom having the ability to make life and all her creations calls her mama, uh, Blackbeard having darkness fruit, Shanks red hair Shanks having most like his his ability is gonna like show something red so there is some correlation to their title and their ability. Now back to Kaido, they call him 100 Beast Kaido. That should have some correlation to his ability or some type of maybe devil fruit. I'm not going to say devil fruit because I think Kaido's devil fruit is something else. And I'm one of the people who have a firm belief that Kaido was actually created by the world government. But they fucked up and created something beyond their means of controlling. And it also goes back to how Judge and Vegapunk discovered the whole lineage factor which is like the DNA of life itself. From the look of Kaido, it's, it's starting to all make sense where like Kaido could potentially have the lineage factor of 100 different beasts, including the Orge race. Like a, he has the factor of a mink, of Orge, like a giant. You know, all of this, all of this races into one body. And that's just his base from it. And all of that would be amplified with whatever mystical devil fruit he has on top of that so yeah there's definitely some crazy stuff with kaido so yeah a lot of this stuff is making a lot of sense now with all these new reveals and stuff so there's definitely some crazy stuff around kaido and even more with the the, the members of the cp0 because i think like they're hiding something they they have some mixture of races they might have some crazy monsters at, at guarding like this the um, celestial dragons i don't know and these dudes are really scary i'm not I'm pretty sure i'm not the only one who's scared of the cp0 those guys they they're strong enough to like chase blackbeard out of uh baltigo but that was on the news it wasn't 100 percent but you know it's still a feat though so yeah i can i definitely can't wait for the whole wano kuni i mean in general jumping into the whole yonko arc has been hype for 
for me big mom shit is fire and i can't wait to see what goes down so yeah anyways like share comment down below it's pharaoh and peace out